Hello students, it's Miss Bonham again to talk with you guys about our brains again for this week. So first of all, we're gonna start by looking at a few objects. I'm gonna show you three things and I want you to see if you can tell me what these three things have in common. Okay, I'm wondering what the, what you thought the three things had in common. How were they all the same? If any of you guessed that they all help us to see, then you're right. They all help us to see things. So this week, we're gonna talk about mindful seeing. Last week, we talked about mindful listening, right? We did some activities and we, we talked about that. And this week, we're gonna talk about mindful seeing and how you can use your sight your sense of sight to help bring your body back to calm and bring your mind back to your prefrontal cortex. Since the first week, we've been talking about three parts of our brains. Let's go through them one more time. Prefrontal cortex, think about it. Do you know what that, that part of your brain does? It's the part that helps you concentrate and focus on what you're supposed to be doing and Think about consequences that might happen and really think through things with, with your wisdom and with your goals in mind and who you wanna be. It's a really important part of our brain. It's where we wanna be most of the time. Sometimes our, this part of our brain that is deep down inside and we can call it our watchdog because it's the part that makes us feel nervous or afraid or angry if if something um, scares us or if something makes us feel unsafe or if we think that someone's being unkind to us, this part, that amygdala, that's the part of your brain that's the watchdog that's gonna light up inside of your brain and it's going to try to put you into that fight or flight that we talked about and sometimes even freeze when you don't wanna move or do anything. And so, in order for us to quiet that down, um, we are gonna have to do something that will help us to, to just learn to just, just quiet that down when it's really not, we know it's not a real danger, it's not a real threat. Maybe, maybe it's someone that scared us in our classroom or maybe um, we didn't know how to do the math assignment and we felt embarrassed. And, but we know that that's, it feels real at the time, but that we're not in a real threat or dangerous place, right? In, in class, we're, class is a safe place. And so we would want to find a way to just quiet that watchdog down in our brain so that we can get back right here and think about what's the best thing for me? How can I make the best decision um, that I know how right now. And one way to do that is with using your sense of sight, using your mindful seeing. And we've talked about a little about this um, before, but with mindful hearing, we were really focused in on sounds, right? Rather than letting our minds just wander, we we're really focused on what sounds we could hear. Can you hear any sounds right now? Let's just see if you can hear three sounds. I can hear a bird. I can hear the leaves blowing and I can hear an airplane. How about you? I wish I could actually hear what you're saying, but I'm sure you got some awesome answers. So today we're gonna to talk about mindful seeing, okay? Cause we look at so many things every single day but do we really notice what they look like up close okay you guys this is kind of cool because i have some objects that i'm going to show you guys and i want you to learn to be mindful detectives that means that whatever you know you're looking at or doing that you're going to be totally involved in that thing right then um and that also can help you. That's a tool, that's a skill that can help you when you're feeling stressed or angry or 
judged or frustrated to bring yourself back to this part of your brain that's going to help you really think about the situation that you're in instead of just jump into that um, impulse of wanting to hit something or or run or be um, be very quick in action um, we can we can learn to do certain things that will help us to slow it down and just pause for a moment before we react. And so with mindful seeing, we can learn to look at an object and really focus in on that object. Like a mindful detective might really study the details of that. And so I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I've got I've got a couple of things here that I thought were pretty and that I would um that I'm gonna I'm gonna look at with you so I'm gonna turn this camera around so you can see my objects okay guys my first object here is a little red maple leaf now I want you to just really look at this leaf for a minute can you see the texture in the leaves can you see the different colors now if you were here I'd have you just turn it all around and and really look at it. But I want you to see what you can find in your yard that you might be able to just really look at or in your house. Look at, is it rough or is it smooth? Are the colors light or dark? And it looks like little cracks in the leaves. So that's the first thing. Here's something else I wanted to show you. Just a little yellow flower but when you get closer you can see all kinds of little details look at the petals did they look soft or rough and the little part in the middle just the tiny details do we ever take time to really study things how about this flower can you see the different colors in the petals how they turn from purple on the ends down to white in the middle. And then look at that orange green in the middle. And then you might want to even look at the stem. Underneath. So things really look differently when we look up close and become detectives with our sight, don't they? And you might notice that when you start to really focus in on things, when you really pay attention to the small details, notice how your body feels. Notice if you feel different. Do you feel more, more calm? Maybe your mind feels a little clearer. Maybe your body feels a little bit more relaxed. Because remember, this is one way that we can, on our own, teach our bodies and our minds to, to just relax, to calm, and to go from that amygdala, we're going to go back into our prefrontal cortex, where we can be a super awesome boss of ourselves. Thanks for joining me today to talk about mindful seeing. I hope that you'll take some time this week to go into your, your yard or maybe the kitchen or a, a place in your house and gather up four or five objects and just study them. Take a few minutes, you could even set a timer and each object study and see if you can find the details. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Make sure you're spending some time practicing your mindful listening and your mindful seeing this week. And I will see you next time.